Hello everyone. Today we will learn the next operation command is our split and trim in surfacing. So let us start with the generative shape design. So we will see the split and trim command. We will just we'll create one bowl. The top plane, the diameter of the element, with the work bench, and then extrude this. So we have extruded this circle. We will create another space here. I will offset this sketch for uh, surface. So just click on the offset from the surfaces toolbar. Select the surface to offset. Add offset distance 10 mm, 50 mm, and just click the reverse direction to change the direction of it. Mm. And then click OK. And then if you want to modify the offset distance, you can modify from here. Now we will use the split option first. So just click on the split. So here, I select element to cut. So just select the element that you want to cut. So I selected this element. And what is the cutting element? Just select the cutting element to cut the element. Okay. So just select the cutting element. This can be a sketch plane. So just select this surface, also surface. And then just select the side that you want to keep and you don't want to keep so just i want to keep this side and i want to remove this side so just click on the other side option and then review so and then click ok so then you can see that the surface is split if you double click on it to change and if you select the keep both side option and then click OK, then it will keep both the surfaces but having but these are split into two. So just this one one second and this is the third surface. So this cylinder is divided into two surfaces with the split. But I will Until this keep both sides, and I want to remove that side. And now, simply hide the surface. My intention was 
tuan-tuan dan puan-puan Sebut yang agung Haidat Intention wall You just throw that cylinder with that surface Now I will use the fill command here Just click on fill And then I will Select this circle To fill that See here it is a close counter message pops up Just create view So you, in this way you can Do the fill command here also Now I will trim this here In the surface here Again select the split command here Select element to cut And select the cutting element and again select the side which you want to keep and which you don't want to keep just select other side and then click ok so now again here also you use split command we will again use the split command here just select element to cut so I want to cut this element and the cutting element to cut and so I want to cut this portion, circular portion of this surface so just click OK in this way you get this the bound so now I will provide some fillets but before providing a fillet we need to first join the surfaces because with the split command we get this as a separate surfaces so we so if we select the edge, edge fillet definition you cannot you cannot fillet that because there is no sharp edges as this separate the surfaces are separate there is no edges to fillet so first we need to join join this with the join command so just click on the join and then select the surface select surface 1, surface 2 and surface 3 and then click on OK so, so now you can give the edge fillet to this so just add a fillet then add a fillet here you say you can create a bowl type structure here So this is the use of split here. So in this way, the split to in split there is no joining and it is used to cut the surface taking reference with the other surface. So or datum plane or sketch. But there is no joining. So now we will see how the split works. Sorry, how uh, I we will see the trim works. So now I will first delete this. Now, now we will see the tree. So in the drop down of split, you can select this tree. Just first show this surface. And now select the trim surface. So here you need to select the trim element. So first select this, uh, this, and then again select here which side you want to trim. So I don't want this this side. Just click OK. So this way the trim is created, and there is no need to add a fill command here, and no need to join. So if you add a fillet here, you can easily add a fillet here also. So in this way, in trim, there is there is a joining between the two surfaces, and no need to join this. Okay. So now I will again use the trim command. 
Again, select the trim element. Keep this side. Keep this side, and I want to remove this side. Just even other side and previous element. So again, there is no need to join this this surface and this surface, or it is already joined by trim. You can see that with the trim. And also, you can add a fillet here. In this way, with a trim, with a less less operations, you can complete your model here. So from trim, we can conclude that it is used to cut the two intersected surfaces, and it will join. So no need to join before going to add a fillet. So both surfaces act as a cutting element. In this way, you, you can use a trim and split to cut the element or split element into two. Please subscribe my channel and like my videos. If you have any queries, comment below. I will definitely try to solve each of them. Thank you. Thank you for watching.